down my coffee. I hate my voice so much, but this story is too long for me to type on the screen. So I guess we'll just start with, I've been up for like three days. The puppies had diarrhea in their crate multiple nights in a row. When I first moved here, I thought that all the geese around the property were so beautiful. I was like, oh my God, it's like the notebook. They're all on the lake and everything. And then after living here and seeing that they take dog sized poops everywhere, the puppies, I can't always control them. They're so quick. They eat it and I think they ate too much of it and they got really sick. But anywho, they pooped in the crate. It was everywhere, it was in their ears, it was in between their toes. It was a t complete disaster. I was bathing them at one in the morning. Claus weighs like 50 pounds. He's heavy, even though he's only four months. I was like WWE wrestling him into the bathtub. Now is present day. That just happened, the puppies are fine. I think it was just too much goose poop, but I'm like a total mess. My hair is like Donald Trump yellow because I haven't toned it. I had to put on eyeliner. I don't know if you can see, but I had to put on eyeliner. I never do that because I looked so dead. I just, it was really horrifying. I looked like I just stumbled out of a graveyard. It's so sunny out, so pretty. Things are much better now, but yeah, that's a little update on the last three days. Goose poop massive diarrhea, no sleep, Donald Trump yellow hair. Look at my nails. I want to get my nails done, but I just feel like it's not practical with taking care of the puppies. I have really ugly man hands, <laughs> so. I feel like I really need nails to make them look somewhat socially acceptable, but I just don't think I can do it with the puppies, so. Anywho, I'm sorry you had to listen to my voice. It's so annoying. We're gonna go to the park soon. That's your update. Thank you. Okay, I know I said I was done updating you, but this is actually kind of funny. So because I'm so exhausted from, you know, taking care of the puppies, cause they don't, they are like newborns. Like they wail in the crate every two to four hours and the to go four hours is really rare. So I've never been more tired in my life and I've had like sleep problems for my whole life. But this is like nothing else I've experienced. So anyways, I'm so exhausted that I actually started sleepwalking, which is really, really creepy. It's like a horror movie for my boyfriend because I'm like standing on the bed in the middle of the night like a total <laughs> lunatic. But if you're a sleepwalker, then you know it can become really dangerous. So 
I was standing up on the bed and the, the fan hit me in the head, okay, so hard, it was on high, that my teeth, that's how I woke up, standing on the bed, the fan hit me in the head, my teeth were shaking in my head. And then I, another night, I stood up on the bed and sprinted off the bed, like ran over my boy. I ran over my boyfriend. I kicked him in the back. He was like, you kicked me. And then he realized that I was taking a running sprint off the bed into the wall. I had so many bruises. I hit this jaw so hard against the wall. It hurt to chew for an entire week. So I've just totally skipped the granny error and went right into my demented granny error because now I have to sleep with bed restraints because I'm so tired. It's hilarious, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so if you are a sleepwalker, this is the best one. It's just from Amazon, this is the brand. It goes around your waist and it doesn't really prevent you from sleeping. God forbid if you have grandparents that have dementia and you'd actually be interested in this stuff, do not buy those ones. They give you like an ulnar nerve compression injury even when they're on the loosest. They're just not comfortable. They don't work. And I was like pulling them off at night anyways, and then running around the room and running off the bed and injuring myself anyways. So definitely get this one. This is the one that I recommend from Amazon. It's not that expensive. It goes around your waist and I just have it tied to the bed. And then this, it goes around your waist and you lay in the bed. So you can't like get up on top of the bed like I was doing and running off the bed and hurting myself or hitting my head on the fan. So yeah, God for, I hope nobody, nobody needs this, but if you do, this is the best one. Do not buy these, these are absolutely horrible. I just got some packages, I forgot what I ordered. So let's see. I got this um, smart wall headband. It's merino wall. I love green. My little green bow. Um, just because it's getting colder and my ears, like I get nauseous when it's windy and my ears get cold. So, really cute color. And then it's also reversible. So, really pretty. Merino wall. So, that was one thing. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Um, I don't know if you guys are interested in financial. <laughs> Hello, Claus is jumping on me. I don't know if you guys are interested in financials, but Lynn Alden, you can't really see because it's flipped around because I don't like it when the camera like inverts my face. I look even uglier <laughs> than usual, so I flipped it back. But anyways, it's Lynn Alden, Broken Money. I am so excited to read this book. I'm so sorry, he's eating the tripod. No. So that I can't get like two seconds to talk with them. <laughs> this is why I'm sleepwalking. But yes, highly recommend this. I've not read it, but I am familiar with her work. I've been subscribed for several years and I will give you an update after I read it. Okay, it's uh, quite thick. It's like 500 pages, 494 to be exact. But as soon as I'm done reading it, I will give you guys an update, highly recommend. Okay, I just got back from the dog park. I'm gonna have a snack. Besides my coffee, this is the first thing that I'm gonna eat today. They're keto layered brownie chocolate almond butter. Um, little brownie snacks. They have five grams of protein, 140 calories, only one gram of sugar, and four grams of fiber. Also, what I love from Costco is the Goodles mac and cheese. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, please try it. And then for dinner, I'm going to make that right now. I'll show you guys probably a time lapse of it. I'm going to make a like modified balmy sandwiches. Plus, <laughs> they're just always destroying all my stuff. <laughs> I'm going to make modified balmy sandwiches um, just with the ingredients that I have here. So we'll do that next. While I make that, I'm gonna have the Kavita strawberry acai coconut. This is only 40 calories. It's really, really good. And I'm also gonna have another one. I'm gonna have the mojito lime mint coconut one. This is 45 calories. It's so, so, so good. So this'll be what I drink while I make the dinner. 